Hi, this is Rian from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, we will set up and configure DFS namespace in Windows Server 2022. DFS allows you to set up shared folders hosted on different servers into one or more logically structured namespace. Each DFS namespace appears to users as a single shared folder with a series of subfolders in it. This setup increases availability and automatically connects users to the shared folders in the same Active Directory Domain Services site. Let's press Ctrl or to delete key combination to sign into Windows Server 2022. Type the administrator user account password and hit enter key. The system logs on the administrator user account and the server manager console appears automatically. On server manager console, click on add rules and features. Click next. Select rule base of each of these installation as an installation type and click next. Select your server where you will be installing DFS namespace server rule. In our case, it is our domain controller. Expand file and storage services. Further expand file and iSCSI services. And from there, select DFS namespace. A pop-up window will comes up asking to add certain features which are required for DFS namespace. Click add features. Click next. We don't need any additional features at the moment. I'm going to click next. Confirm your installation selection and hit install button. Let it finish installing and then click close and you will have finished the installation process. DFS namespace rule has been installed successfully. I'm going to close it. After the DFS rule has been installed, open the DFS management console to create a new DFS namespace. On SAW Manager, click on Tools and choose DFS Management. This will open DFS Management window. On the DFS Management console, click and expand namespaces. At the moment, there is no item to show in this view since we haven't created any namespace. Right click on namespaces and from the options, Choose new namespace. Browse or type the name of the server that will host the DFS namespace. I'm going to click on browse to browse the server. Click advance and click on find now. I'm going to select our domain controller DC1. Click OK. Click OK again. So DC1 is going to host DFS namespace. Click next. Choose a name for your namespace in the following screen. This will be the name of your domain sharing path. For example, it is going to be must be noob.lab slash files. So here I'm going to specify name of files. Or you can specify any name of your choice. Click on edit settings to edit permissions on the share folder, which is going to be created. By default, Everyone has read only permission on this share folder. And the folder is going to be created on a C drive, name folder, name DFS roots, and under that you will have a your folder named files. If you want to customize the permission, you can select this radio button and click on customize here. Okay? But at the moment, we are going with all users have a read only permissions. Click OK. Click next. On this window, select the namespace type. Since we are using Active Directory and that's why we are going with Domain Based Namespace. You can read brief information about Domain Based Namespace. Like it is going to store on one or more namespace servers and in Active Directory Domain Services. You can also increase the availability of a Domain Based Namespace by using a multiple server. That means we can also go for DFS replication as well. Click next. Uh, review the settings and then click on create. Okay. 
we can see the green correction symbol that means you have successfully completed the new namespace wizard and your namespace has been created successfully let me close it and here we can see the namespace which we have just created and you can see the path you can see path must be noob.lab slash false let's go to our client computer uh, already i have logged into this windows 11 client computer using one of my domain user account rachin ravindra uh, let's access that unc path which is must be noob dot lab press enter key and here we can see the files so this is the path which we are seeing so this is how we can access the dfs namespace so it is working perfectly fine but nothing is there yet though we will add folders to the dfs namespace now so let's go to our server again and go back on dfs management console right click on the namespace we just created and from the options choose a new folder to add uh, type the name of the folder i'm giving name a marketing and then you need to specify the folder target now what is a folder target folder target is the actual path of that share folder it might be on a local server or it might be on a other server which you want to specify under dfs namespace so in this video i have created one share folder on our local server earlier i have created one lab guide for the same earlier we have created one share folder name uh, marketing and which we are going to use here okay so let me click on add click on browse to browse the path of that share folder uh, as you can see it is showing only two folders on our local server why because it is only showing the share folders not the local folders okay so from the list i'm going to select marketing again i want to remind you that this is the folder which we have created earlier so this is our share folder click okay so this is the path so this is the actual path of that a share folder click okay click okay the marketing folder has been added successfully under the dfs namespace now you can see the shortcut icon is there it is saying that this folder is added as a folder under this dfs namespace this is not the exact one okay now let's go back to the uh, windows 11 computer and here we can see without refreshing we can see and if this folder is not visible then you simply need to click on refresh to refresh the path okay so this is how user can access that share folder uh, here still you can see the shortcut that is indicating that we are using dfs and this folder is added as a folder under the dfs namespace and now whatever data is stored under that uh, folder uh, will be visible to user if user want to create another folder under it and if a user has a sufficient permission then he will be able to create it but in my case i haven't given them permission to create this will be only just read only permission okay so dfs namespace is a great feature in windows server to organize your network shares if you have multiple file servers and your share folders are stored on multiple server that time you can use dfs namespace to organize all the share folders and store under one common name and when we are using dfs namespace it does not matter where the share folders are located they are all accessible from single path and that is our dfs namespace so it makes it easier to move file servers around too without breaking the access path so that's the end of this lab guide see you all in the next lab guide Stay tuned for more videos like this.